I don't know why, but I felt like I saw you like a forklift and you were restacking these pallets. And God said, I'm bringing things out of storage and I'm, I'm going to start shipping and I'm going to use you to bring things out of storage and to ship them to where they belong. So, Lord, I just release that anointing on him. I release, Father God, you've put things in him over the years and it's going to come out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And your friend, I'm, I'm going to say, Karen, Karen, yeah. If you just stand up a minute, I'll just give you a quick. Uh, I felt like, uh, I don't know why, I just felt like I saw the Lord pouring jet fuel in your tank. And I just felt like God said, it's an appointed time to, to fly. And I'm not talking about on a plane. I'm talking about your spirit. And God said, I want you to journey with me. And you know what's interesting is anymore? They give the exact amount plus so much. They do not fill the tanks. They fill the tanks for the flight, for the journey. And I felt like this, it's going to be enough to go into your next assignment, but it's not enough to make every stop. But the Lord said, you'll not run out of fuel. You'll have enough to make your journey plus but this is going to be a time, and I felt like you were looking, say, God, I know I have this, this, and this. And God said, I'm giving you fuel for one leg of the journey. And God said, if you trust me for that leg, I'll meet you with fuel for the second leg. Now, I don't know what this means to you, but I think it's going to help you. How many of you have ever wanted God to show you the everything before you make a step? <laughs> that would be you, okay. okay. How many know that, that sometimes what God will do He'll never give you enough so you don't have to trust him for every part. We were flying to a place, and it was, it was because of the wind we could not land a storm, but they had enough fuel to land at another place but not to circle anymore. Since 9-11, that's the way they do it. And I want to tell you, uh, God is giving you the fuel for your next assignment. Uh, uh, amen, I bless you. I want everyone just to close your eyes for a minute. I want to prophesy some more, but I want to prophesy something into each of you. When I first was a young prophet, I used to say it this way. I'm a Samuel looking for my David. But now that I'm more mature, I'm a prophet looking for the David part of your heart because we are of the seed of David. We are of the tabernacle of David. I want you to think about that David part of your life. And it may start with the part that was overlooked, but gifted. It may be the part where what you did made others jealous. You're not a David until somebody chases you that loved you. But don't give up that part of your Davidic heart. There's a throne of a purpose in each of our lives. And if we don't let what other people have done change what God has said, we will reach the fulfillment of what he promised. And I want to prophesy this to you, David. I'm talking to your Davidic, the David in you. The seed, the Father God has put in you. He says this, For I have anointed you, I have called you, I have known you by name. I formed you in your mother's womb. I knew you before she did. For I am your God, I am your Father, and I'm determining that the wind of my spirit will blow through your life and I'm going to cause this to be a year of the, uh, just the suddenlies, the year of inheritance, the year of the breakthrough. And the Father says, do not lay back and say, I'll just wait till God does it. The Lord said, I've given you vision, step into it. And as you step into what I tell you, the Lord said there'll be unusual fruit, unusual anointing. And the Lord said, I am looking through the earth to find that person who I can show myself strong through. Can I show myself strong through you?
God would like to hear just a couple more yeses. Okay. I, as a, I'm prophetically, I'm stirring you up. What's that song say? Here am I, Lord. What? Do you really mean that? I want you to really think about it. Most of the church says, here my Lord, send them. That's what Moses told God. And God said, no, you. Here, I want you to say it to God. Here my Lord, send me. Do you know that God is more committed to your sending to showing his strength through you than you are. He died to get it inside of you. And unless you step into your greatness, I'm going to say it one more time, unless you step into your greatness, people will never know God is the great God he is. Elijah, if you don't pray, fire is not coming down. If you don't speak it, fire is not coming down from heaven. If you don't pray, rain is not breaking the drought. Moses, if you don't go, they're not coming out of Israel. David, if you don't run toward Goliath, it's going to be another 40 days. There was no one else that had the right to run toward Goliath. David was born for it. I want you to say this. I was born for it. Now, I don't know what it is, but there's something you were born for. And when you get onto that, there's a greater anointing that comes over your life. When you step into your assignment, that's when the anointing hits your life. I want to speak to the David part of you. When David became king in Judah, what happened? Civil war broke out in Israel. How many of you think he was a little bit disappointed? Can you keep your vision in the midst of division? David did. I release over you an anointing to stay faithful to what God has said to you when it looks like it's falling apart because you obeyed. I'm going to tell you this. There's a better day coming, David. There's a better day coming. You may have gone through this. You may have gone through that, but you're getting to what God promised. You are not going to be stopped because there's an anointing over your life. I really felt, Chris, God is getting ready to release something over you. And I just release that thing to go forward in the name of Jesus. I release that anointing. I thank you, Father God, for what you're doing. I want to do this. Uh, I want to. I like laying hands on people. And I just like just saying just little things. What I want to do, if I prophesied over you, I want to encourage you to go out and buy 10 books. No, I'm just <laughs> And uh, just, you got to have a little bit of fun, okay? Yeah, <laughs> he said, no, 30 books, no, no. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my wife go back if I've ministered to you, but I want to just release a Davidic anointing. And as you come through, I just want to ask you to walk through. And if I've already prophesied, you know, you can still lay hands but I'm, I just feel, and I don't know, Kurt, if you want to say something in closing, but I have a little bit of time here. Paul, yeah, and I'm going to be here tomorrow, 10, 15, and I'll be ministering some more. But one of the things Apostle Paul said, he said, I desire to lay hands on you to impart. And specifically, if you feel like you would just like to hear God's voice better, or enter into the anointing that you have. Let me just tell you this. You may not be a prophet, but if you're a teacher, you need to hear God's voice better to teach. If you're a prayer warrior, you need God's voice better to pray. If you're a counselor, you need to hear God's voice better to counsel. Are you with me? So what I want to do, it's as if any two or three touch in agreement. I remember different people who have, prayed over me uh, a list of things that have happened 
I could tell you some incredible stories of where God has given me parts and different things, and I don't always understand. But I'm going to tell you this. Your life was made to change somebody else's. Your anointing shatters the walls of the enemy. Don't ever settle for something normal. You were made for the extraordinary. I just felt, what's your name? Clara, okay. Clara, don't be nervous. It'll make me nervous. And I'm glad you remembered, Clara. I just felt like this. There's something extraordinary the Lord is doing with your life. And you're like in a refining fire, but you're coming out like gold. And the Lord said, I'm going to use your voice to break lies off of people. There's a teaching anointing on you. And you're going to lead people into truth that sets them free. I don't know why, but I felt like God has opened up a door in front of you. And it was like double doors. And it was like you were going, coming out with like a, you know, in college you come out with a double major. And I felt like you're coming out with a double major. And the Lord said, there's going to be, you don't even know this, but he's been training you in one area while you've been studying in another. The natural, but he's been getting the spiritual in you. And God said, you're going to be, I just felt like this, you're going to be a doctor. And you're going to bring healing to people, naturally and spiritually. Okay, now, so how do we want to do this? Okay. So I'm going to give him a word, then just a hand question. Okay. So what we want to do is have a closing prayer here for a moment for those that need to leave. We want you to feel released to leave. If you can stay longer than uh, Dale and with Luann, we'll be up here, and you want them to just make a file line through, and you'll be uh, just speaking or word or encouragement or a prophetic word. And um, so if you want to receive that, you can begin to move over that way. If you want to just be released to go tonight, you can do that. As, uh, as Okay, okay, that would be good, unless you get somebody from our team to help you out there. Um, so Dale and Luann will be here tomorrow morning. Our worship service starts at 1015, and we'll invite you to come and be a part of that. But would you just stand for a moment? Let's just close in prayer. And I wanted to pray for that safety as each one goes home tonight. Father, we thank you for your sweet and powerful presence here. Lord, we thank you for the Holy Spirit who is not only here upon us, but he's also in us. And Lord, I pray now as your word declares that you have sent the angel of the Lord around each one, that the angel of the Lord encamps around your people. And so, Father, I pray that each person here and each car here tonight, as they travel home, Lord, that you will send your angel before them, behind them, on either side, that you will give them perfect and complete safety and peace. Lord, I'm asking for supernatural peace and supernatural um, staying on the road, Lord, keeping other cars safely on the road, and Lord, that you will help them get home, Lord, with your peace. Lord, I pray that 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 shalom, that covering of the shalom of God to be over you and upon you this evening. And Lord, I thank you for that. Thank you for blessing each one who's been here tonight. And as they've received those words, Lord, I pray that they would soak them in. Lord, that it would just transform them from the inside out. And Lord, I pray your blessing now on each and every one as we go. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So feel free to go. Or if you want to move over on that side, yeah, follow Pastor Joel over there. Right. And for those that want to receive a word, just keep moving through. And uh... Now, what I'd like to do, uh, honey, if you just go back there with the books. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read some books again. Okay, now what I'm going to do is ask the worship team to come up here. If we're going to do, we can touch everybody in about 10 minutes. So you don't have to think you've got to buy pizza, call it in.
Yeah, and we're going to keep moving. Now, how many of you know one touch can change everything? When the woman touched the mantle of Jesus, she was instantly healed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm asking the praise team just to, to crank it up. I'm going to ask you to, to walk quickly through. We're going to lay hands on you as you come through. And we're going to believe that heaven is coming down on you. And I'm just going to say a word. We're just going to release and we're just going to go. And you guys can stand right across here and we're just going to go. Okay, you guys, you're cranked up. And uh, God bless you. Anointing. Let's go.